Hey y'all, it's your girl Tashonda Renee and I'm back with another video. Today I have a very simple recipe for you. I'm making an unstuffed bell pepper skillet. It is so simple to make and it's absolutely delicious. So if you would like to see how I do it, please stay tuned. All right, to get started, you're gonna need one and a half to two pounds of ground meat. I'm using ground turkey, and you're gonna brown that over a medium heat in a large skillet. To season my meat, I'm using Italian seasoning, garlic and onion powder, black pepper, and Tony Chacherets. To the skillet, you're gonna add diced onion and diced bell peppers. I'm using tricolor bell peppers, so I have yellow, red, and green you can use your favorite so you're gonna just cook this until the meat has browned and your peppers are soft you don't want them too mushy just soft it usually takes anywhere from six to nine minutes to brown ground turkey and even beef and because I'm using ground turkey, I'm going to go ahead and add some paprika. And I did use smoked paprika, and that does give it a little more flavor too. But I'm only using the paprika to give the turkey some color. It's been about eight or nine minutes right here. And as you can see, my ground turkey is done and the peppers are not mushy. They're just actually perfect. Um, very tender. So I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic paste to this mixture. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of the garlic paste. The freshness of the garlic paste really does give this dish a boost of flavor. So I definitely recommend using some garlic paste. Then I'm going to add one can of petite diced tomatoes. I'm going to go ahead and mix that together. As you can see, I did not drain that can of tomatoes. You're going to need that juice. Next, you want to add about two tablespoons of tomato paste. You want to make sure that's well combined. Next, you're going to add about three-fourths of a cup of rice. Now, I'm using regular long grain rice. You can use your favorite rice. You do want to be sure to rinse your rice really well before adding it to this dish. Next, you're going to add about 16 ounces of chicken broth to the skillet. Stir everything together really well. And then you're going to place a lid on top and allow this to cook until the rice is done. I wanted to add that if you're using ground beef, you can use beef broth instead of the chicken broth. That cook time can vary depending on the type of rice you're using. My rice was done in about 16 to 18 minutes. And this is what it looks like once the rice is done. You want to just give that a stir, kind of fluff the rice. And this is what it looks like. Once I have the rice fluffed to the skillet, I'm going to add some cheese. I'm using medium cheddar and mozzarella. You can use your favorite cheeses. I'm gonna add some of the cheese to the skillet and stir it, and then I'm gonna reserve some of the cheese for the top and allow it to melt on top. I'm doing a mixture of both cheeses on top. So once I have it all added, I'm going to go ahead and place my lid back on top and just allow it to kind of simmer until the cheese has melted. I still have the heat set at about a medium. 
So y'all, that is pretty much it. Once that cheese has melted, this dish is done. And this is what it looks like once it's all done. This skillet is absolutely delicious and it's so simple to make. This is a good weeknight meal. It only takes about 25 to 30 minutes to prepare. It's absolutely delicious and so easy. If you like stuffed bell peppers, I do believe you're going to love this as well. So I definitely hope you all will give this recipe a try. And if you do, be sure to leave a comment below and let me know whether you enjoyed it or not. Um, also, if you're interested in the exact ingredients and measurements of everything I used, be sure to check out the description box. I'll have everything listed there. And if you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.